Hey there fellow Fall Guys enthusiasts, welcome to today's YouTube video, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. And today we're diving headfirst into the wild world of Fall Guys reviews. But not just any reviews, today we're exploring the notorious realm of one star reviews. But hey, before we jump into the chaos, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you won't miss any future episodes of quirky game reviews and more. Trust me, you won't want to miss out. Now I've scoured the depths of the internet to find some of the most scathing, bizarre and downright uh, perplexing one star reviews of Fall Guys. We'll be taking a closer look at these complaints and giving our own two cents along the way. Now what's interesting about this is that a lot of it is from the five and one star reviews. There's not a lot in between. So the four, three and two star reviews, there's not a lot in there. So it should be interesting to see what the people that voted one star have to say about the game. And remember everyone, all of these people are entitled to their uh, own opinion. And this is all just for fun and to see what they have to say about the game. All right, enough chatter. Let's dive straight into the world of one star four guys reviews and see what kind of craziness we uncover. One star. So we've got the first review here. Now I'm not gonna read everything, but I will read some sentences. I'm gonna be hiding the names because as I said earlier, this is all for fun. I don't wanna spread any hate. Everyone's entitled to their own opinions and we all just wanna have a bit of fun here. So this guy has said, this is honestly one of the worst games I have played. It's a neat concept, so I figured I'd give it a try. Mate, if you think this is one of the worst games you've played, you should try Cyberpunk. That game wasn't even half finished and it was complete utter chaos when it first came out. There is really nothing hard or skill testing about this game. It's mostly random luck, but with some major annoyances. I mean, there are some really hard parts of the game, especially with the new updates that's coming out. I do agree to some extent when he says it's random luck, because with some maps, there is a lot of RNG involved, like, um, or some things that you can't control in the game. Like, for example, um, at the start of the rounds, it's completely up to RNG whether you spawn at the back or at the front row. And that can be um, unfair in some circumstances. Like the thing about Fall Guys, whether you're good or bad at the game, anything can happen. Like in a level, you can get so... Um, there, there, there can be a large amount of RNG or a small amount. And regardless of whether it's a large amount or a small amount, you you can get absolutely shafted and you won't be able to qualify the round. This game is for children. This guy has also given us a list of pros and cons of the game, which is very nice of him. Um, it doesn't look like there's a lot of pros, so this should be easy to go through. So, pros. Fresh idea for a game. It's the reason I tried it in the first place. Great. Now on to the cons. Goodness me. I'm not going to read through all of this, but I will go over some key points. Okay, let's go through this. Bro, this guy's written the whole Bible on how many cons he's got for the game. It forces you to go through a loading screen when you get knocked out to spectate other players. Uh, I don't think it does that anymore. Uh, which means you have to quit and go through another loading screen to get out. It seems like a cheap way to make people take longer before another ridiculous... Full stop. Another ridiculous what? <laughs> he can't even finish his sentences probably. There are only three button commands. Pull, dive and jump. What about emoting? You forgot about emotes. Nah, I'm just kidding. But um... At first, I thought this was going to be a problem for the game, but like it it actually goes quite well with how the game was made. Like, for guys, it's a simple game with simple buttons, and that's completely acceptable. If it was a complex game with simple buttons, then you could say something else about the game. But since it's so um, such a casual play style, it's I think it's genuinely okay to just have three simple main buttons uh, to be implemented into it. All right, third and final con from this guy. One match with this giant teta tota. Um, God knows what that means. Like things I feel off about 10 times in the same location. I'm, I'm getting a, a brain dysfunction just reading this. What happened was people made this go almost vertical. The first group of people that made it across the finished. The finished. Okay. Before we could get the get past the first part. I think I'm becoming dyslexic just reading this. But buddy, not gonna lie, seems like a skill issue, mate. Um, but um, he he does have some relevant points. Like there is some RNG in the game. I do have to admit to that. Uh, especially with the whole can't choose where you start part of the game. 
This guy was basically waffling throughout the cons, but uh, overall, I feel like it's just a person who couldn't qualify the first game he played or the first few games he played and just decided to write a one star review about the game. Um, so, so fair enough. Not The game's not up for everyone and that's okay. I'll be doing a part two soon, so be sure to stay tuned uh, for that everyone. And if you'd like to see me react to more reviews of different games, please let me know in the comments below. Once again, be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. It would genuinely mean a lot. I do also stream on Twitch and TikTok, so I'll be sure to put the links in the description along with our Discord server link. So feel free to join that everyone. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.